Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today through the sacred scriptures, we heard about the praises of the prophet Elijah as recounted by the prophet Sirah. In that passage, we heard how the prophet Elijah had worked hard for the Lord and eventually was taken up into heaven at the end of his ministry. Then in the gospel passage, we heard the Lord speaking to his disciples and followers on the matter of how they ought to pray and then taught them his prayer. Let us first begin with our first reading in which we heard the account of the life and works of the prophet Elijah. In that account, we heard a summary of Elijah's many achievements during his ministry and how he labored for the sake of God's people. A most thankless and tiring task, as he was persecuted, oppressed and rejected by those same people that he had been sent to minister. He had to flee many times for fear of his life during his ministry, with many people opposing him. The Lord had worked through Elijah as he performed many wonderful miracles, as mentioned by the prophet Sirah, as he brought fire down from heaven to bend the sacrificial offering during the trial of faith with the priests of Baal and his opponents bringing down fire on the agents of the king who demanded him to come down from the mountain and see the king, to raising the dead child of the widow of Zarephath, to whom he also showed God's grace and love with the miraculous and endless supply of flour and oil for a family to eat and survive during the great famine and drought. But the people would still not be tamed by all these efforts, although some were definitely touched by the faith and the efforts of the prophet. Most of the people, like that of their king, Ahab, and his successors remained in sin, living in sin, and continuing to worship the pagan gods and idols, save for Jehu the successor of the house of Ahab, who God had chosen to be the king of Israel and whom Elijah had helped to put in place. In all this, we see how God has cared so much about his people that he sent them a great prophet to help them reach out to them. And in the end, when that prophet had completed his ministry, God also took him up into heaven for the greater glory of his works. How is this story from our first reading related to our gospel passage today? We heard of the Lord Jesus ministering to the people, spreading the words of God's truth among them. He was the, great, he was the new great prophet sent into the world, and his role was affirmed is at the moment of transfiguration, the prophet Elijah and Moses appeared before the Lord and spoke to him on, on Mount Tabor, as witnessed by the three of the apostles. He highlighted the Lord as the fulfillment of all the prophecies, and he himself as the one and true prophet of prophets would complete God's plan to save mankind. The Lord himself faced challenges, opposition, rejection, and difficulties, just as the prophet Elijah and the multitudes of other prophets he had experienced. But he still carried on his work and ministry for the wonderful and enduring love which he has for each and every one of us, the sons and daughters of mankind. And he has always remi reminded his followers and disciples to focus their hearts, their minds, and their attention on God. And the way to do this is through having stronger and more authentic relationship with, God, with him. And how do we do this, brothers and sisters in Christ? 
It is through prayer, just as the Lord taught his disciples how to pray, the Lord's Prayer, composed by himself as the inspiration and example of what prayers should be like and what prayers are meant to be. Prayer is the intimate form of communication between us and God, for us to get close to God and to open ourselves to him. But many of us often got it wrong about prayer, thinking of prayer as a means for us to gain ourselves what we want and need from God. That is why when we prayed, many of us often ended up failing into the temptation of focusing on ourselves, looking inward and immersed in our ego, desire, pride and ambition rather than to focus our attention on God. The Lord Jesus taught us to focus our attention on God, to honor and glorify him, to thank him for all the wonderful blessings he has given to us and to devote ourselves to him. And then surely God will guide us and help us. And in prayer, we ought to open ourselves to the Lord, to listen to him and to follow him in whatever he wants us to do. Let us all therefore deepen our relationship with the Lord, our Father, through prayer. And by drawing ever closer to him, let us all follow him faithfully, much as how the prophet Elijah had dedicated his life to save him, by doing what he can in our own lives, in our own respective communities and places to obey the Lord and to do our best in serving him at all times. Amen.